Hi everyone. Um, this is what I've been wearing today. Anybody feel like I should be harassed for wearing this? Do I deserve it? Do I deserve it? I don't know. But anyway, walking down the road, had a man stop, put up his car slowly against me. I could feel it. I had my headphones in. I could feel the car. And he's like, let me talk to you, let me talk to you. No, I don't want to talk to you. Thanks, mate. Blah, blah, blah. He drives halfway up the road and then stops again and waits for me to walk up. I'm this time, I'm like, just fully, like, straightforward, straight thinking. Because I'm thinking, I I just want to go home. I just want to go home. I need a wee. You know, leave me alone. And also, if you do get out of the car and you do want to fight, I've got sweat patches under my arms because it's a really hot day. And I don't want to embarrass myself in front of everyone and everyone think, oh, that girl's got sweat patches. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously, I'm going to knock you out. I, just, uh, I may look small, but I'm built to kill. <laughs> But please, guys, stop doing this to women. If you're one of these men, please stop doing it. It's so scary. I've got to say, it's really difficult to focus on what she's saying. Anyway, should guys pressure women after the woman has said she's not interested? The answer is simply no. It's just desperate and weird. There are plenty of women out there. Move on to the next one or go your own way. It's not worth the trouble. It's not worth it. So something happened to me last night on the subway and I think that I need to talk about it. So I got on the subway in Brooklyn and I was heading into Manhattan to meet a friend for dinner. And there was another group of girls waiting for the subway. Um, they were all dressed up. One of them had a tiara and a birthday sash. They were going out to celebrate someone's birthday. And right as the subway pulls up and I'm going to get on, I see a man approach them and start talking to them, complimenting them, um, and they're kind of just being like, oh, thanks, at first, you know, how you have to act when men talk to you so you don't die. And then all of us get on the subway, and the man sits across from these girls towards the front of the subway, and I'm sort of in the middle of the subway. I had paused my music, and I was just, like, locked in on this conversation, watching um, to see what was going to happen and um, if they were safe. And like I said, it's a group of four girls, so it's not just one girl by herself, you know. So, But I'm still watching because I can tell that he's making them uncomfortable. And there's another girl who happens to be sitting right by them who's by herself and he starts talking to her as well and I couldn't really tell exactly what he was saying but I knew that he was being creepy because one of the girls, the birthday girl actually, was yelling at him trying to tell him stop, leave her alone. She's just trying to ride the subway by herself, like leave her alone. He's harassing all of these girls and it goes on for 10 minutes um, and no one says anything. It's a full subway car. I'm the youngest <laughs> and the smallest person on the subway and I'm also by myself I'm a young woman by myself so I was scared to get up and say something but I couldn't take it anymore this had gone on for 15 minutes now and no one had said a word and I had seen the girls multiple times tell this man to fuck off and leave them alone and he was still talking to them and like I said he was very loud the whole subway car could hear everything so I get up my 5'2 ass self I don't have mace, I don't have an alarm, I don't have anything, and I'm the least threatening person you've ever seen in your entire life. But I went up to him and I said, can you leave them the fuck alone? And then he starts mumbling at me saying, get the fuck out of my face, I'm gonna fuck you up, all this stuff. And I said, no, you need to get the fuck out of their face. And I'm shaking with anger because no one has said anything. There's so many, I can't even, there's so many men in the subway car who were sitting there and two of them were laughing. I'm not... Like, they were genuinely laughing at this interaction. So after he threatened me, the birthday girl was like, um, no, you don't get to talk to women like that. Like, that's like the third woman you talk to on the subway like that. Like, you don't get to fucking talk. I'm going to call the police. And all five of us now had planned to get up and go to a different car um, once at the next stop. But he ended up getting off. And one of the girls actually said, isn't it interesting how you got up and said something, you as a woman, but there's so many men here who didn't get up and say anything. I can't stress how unsafe this world is for women right now. And if you're a man and you have that power, get up and fucking say something. Because that could have ended so much differently. Most men don't want to say anything because there's no point risking your own life for a stranger. Sometimes men do get up and say something and he gets knifed or ends up in a hospital over some woman who will not even look twice at him. The feminist movement said men and women are equal, so men are feeling less obligated to protect women because they postulated that they don't need men and that they can protect themselves. You are a strong, independent woman.